are watching The Dawn Show, and, and what an inspiration today to have our special guests. Um, of course, we have Teddy Thomas from uh, Ronald McDonald House in South Jersey, and we have Junior and his daughter, his beautiful daughter, Braden, who uh, drove here all the way from California about a month ago. And Braden, I love your cast, so you got to choose those, is that right? Yeah. Yeah? And just a second ago during the commercial break, I love that Braden grabbed Daddy's finger and said, I got Daddy. <laughs> There's a lot of love here. Um, tell me about the surgery that's upcoming. So in other words, the cast get changed. I show Daddy. You want to show Daddy? <laughs> Um, yeah. <clears throat> with, the, with the castings, basically what they're focusing on is her feet. Um, when she was born, her, she was diagnosed with a uh, club foot, which basically means that, um, you know, her, her feet are turned inwards a little bit and, um, you know, they're bowed, like arched real, real well. Yes. Now, um, with that, they're, uh, with the castings, basically they, you know, they, they flex them a little bit wrap them in a cast for a few days and uh, go back, take the cast off and uh, you know, give, her, give her a couple hours to take a break from them and uh, they go right back in with more casting. And um, it, it, it is a little painful, but um, in the long run, like she, as young as she is now, she won't remember the pain and everything. But after they get done with the castings, they are gonna go in and do a surgery that will allow take her hips because uh, currently they're, uh, they're not in the right place. They're a little dislocated and they're going to rotate them okay. like this so that, they're, uh, so that they're like mine and yours are. And uh, they're going to put her in a cast for a little while. After the cast comes off, you know, through rehab and uh, occupational therapy, you know, she'll be, uh, she'll be able to walk. What does it mean to you, because we want to talk about Ronald McDonald House, um, that you're, you're driving all the way here and a single daddy with your beautiful daughter who you obviously love and want the best for her as any parent we all want the best for our kids but what does it mean to you junior to have the ronald mcdonald house to have the ronald mcdonald yes, house you. it um it provides a sense of safety and comfort um knowing that at the end of the day you know you still have that that place you know friendly faces people you're you know acquainted with friends with that are there and you know you can at the end of the day you can relax instead of you know having to go back to a hotel or you know in some some people's cases and we're showing the different pictures yeah. of some of the rooms so that people get a <laughs> that's sense. actually the room that uh, they have me staying in right now <laughs> become um, a Sixers fan maybe <laughs> it's okay ouch you okay it's we okay. got Spongebob so a lot of colorful family rooms and Teddy you try to make it as comfortable uh, and homey as possible right we do we want the families to feel like it's their second home uh, we call it a home away from home so uh, we want it to be that relaxing place. They come back, they have friends, they get to share their good day, bad day stories, they get to support each other and cheer each other on for the next day. We even have something terrific called the uh, Good News Bell. And at dinner, if you've had good news during the day, you get to ring the bell and tell all the other families what your good news is. And that was given to us by one of our families because they said that hearing everyone's story gave them so much inspiration that one of these days they get to tell their good news. So oh. it's a lot of fun for them. Have you had? Have you um, been touched, Junior, by some of the families and their good news? Yes. Um, there's there's families there that you know I I, see, I, I hear them sh about their struggle with their you know trying to get their child well, trying to get them back home, you know, getting them the treatment that they they need and deserve. And sometimes sometimes you know it's it's heartbreaking to hear that these little ones you know as early in life as they are are having to go through this and it's you know children always have and always will be fighters and it's amazing to see them do that fighter are you a fight is she saying fighter you're a fighter yeah <laughs> it's also great because i know you you told me junior what's that she has a lot of, uh, that you have a lot of support from, from your parents and your community and your fiance um, as a single dad, but it must be special for you to be with other families, like you said, going through something similar and, and, to, and to journey with them and get to know them too. Yes. Different co level of support, in other words. <clears throat> the, uh, with the support uh, that I, I get from my family and uh, friends and my fiance is, you know, they're, they're always, they're always calling, you know, try, checking up on us, making sure we need, if, you know, if we need anything, you know, they're always there. Um, but in a way they can't empathize with you as a parent. You're at the Ronald McDonald house. 
with other parents who have children who yes and so you have some new level I imagine of empathy that you share with other parents that you can talk about your kids in a way that a lot of people might not understand yeah it's it's really remarkable that you know the the parents and children there at the Ronald McDonald house they're always you know they're always down like downstairs for the majority of the time you know in the evenings and all the kids are, are all playing and stuff and while the kids are playing it gives kind of gives the adults the the t the chance to kind of sit back and uh, you know talk and it's it's awesome to hear the stories and everything that these families and other children have been through well it's amazing to see the the bond that you have with with your daughter and uh, you'll be in our thoughts and our prayers that that is for sure thank you so much Junior. thank you guys for giving us the opportunity to be here oh thank you it's a blessing thank you Braden. you look beautiful on TV Tell yeah. thank you <laughs> yeah thank you, thank you. <laughs> we love you Oh, love you. We're going to take a break. We're going to be right back here on The Dawn Show.